Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Friday beginning of the weekend day episode Bob TV baby. Okay, you guys ready for some Bob O'Neering at its finest? Here we go. Okay, I gotta come up with my two spars. Okay, I gotta come up with bulkheads. Bam, there's one. I just cut that piece of wood and it luckily fit right in there. <laughs> no, that's where that goes. Bam! Now after I get this one set up, then I'll make my jig. I kind of wish I would have made my jig before I pulled them out, but I didn't. And I can't take these wings out to do that, so I'll just do that on my next set. Okay, now, I know what you're thinking. On that fuselage, them spars look like they're just way back. And uh, but if you look at the wing, they're about in the middle of it, right where they need to be. So that's where I'm going to roll with them. Okay. Then my gear, my retract units, sit right in between them, baby. But there's room, okay? I need to get that all figured out today. Make my templates. And then I can route them out. Bam. Alright, I'm going to get these set of wings glued together today. Now I'm going to show you how I made them. A couple sticks. A couple clamps, okay? This one here I had to put together like this. Put me a couple of these small clamps on there. Okay, and stuck it in there and got this one, put this piece of wood on there and two clamps, bam, that pretty much came out. There's one spot I had to go up a little bit. The top ain't quite flat. See the top's kind of rounded. So I just put me a mark on the high point and then went up about a sixteenth of an inch and it just fits perfect. You want it just snug you don't want it big time loose but you don't want it too tight either that's the that was the small one yeah this one and I made that one and it was just a freaking too small but you don't want it actually pushing up on your skin you want it that is perfect right there that's just both sides that don't go clam clank clank and uh, it's just perfect. Okay, now how I got these pencil marks, I just measured from the front of there to there and then to there. Okay, came put me a little mark, then came in here with a square and made a mark like so. That's just my basic layout. basic layout okay now I need to make this back one and I gotta do the same thing except I think I'm gonna have to cut my sticks down a little bit I don't want to do them like that cuz oh, I probably could let's see what happens Ok, 
Okay, kind of line it up square with that pencil mark. That was just absolutely perfect right there. Check it one more time. That is just perfect. It's got such a slight bow on the top. I'm talking 32nd of an inch and that might be the crown. It is. That's the crown on that piece of wood. Let's try this again. No, I bet it's just perfect. Beautiful man. That's just beautiful. Okay. It's almost straight, not quite. I don't think. Just watching that. An inch and five eighths. Inch and five eighths. Well, that one's easy. That one's easy, man. I want to have it a little longer. That's my main one in the back. I'm going to have it. So that's the front. I'm going to run that back one just a, a little bit longer. Piece of wood. Nice square straight line off of that. to the saw. Sander straight. Just love that Harbor Freight band saw. That's been the best saw. This Harbor Freight Sander with the foot pedal. Actually, the switch went out in that band saw right after I bought it. And I went in there, and I was in there, and I asked the guy, I said, can I just get a switch? You know, run and bring that big heavy thing down? He said, no, you have to just return the whole thing. I said, well, man, this all works fine. And I just, uh, or the sander, so I just went and bought that foot switch for it. Right there at Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks. Love it. Love it, love it. Fifteen and a half. Yeah, that's gonna be good. That'll get us past that. I just wanted to come past that. Fifteen and a half, yeah. Okay, so we go inch and five eighths. So I'm gonna allow just a frickle so I can sand it smooth. I'm talking just a by the time I sand it, it's 
flat it will be just perfect and what I'll do is I like all my patterns I make out of half I, uh, I like it I like them half inch instead of quarter uh, for my router you know and plus then I know it from my parts I won't accidentally use it so I'll just when I get all these done I'll just glue them to another board and cut them out and then be my patterns forever this is my this is my pattern for the tail and the fuselage see how I made it out of just glued another piece to it and then there's my holes for my screws and I just screw it to another piece of wood route it out bam this stuff one time one time all right guys well I'm gonna do a little more cutting I'm gonna get this figured out then we're gonna open the wing up and get my landing gear mounts figured out and we'll be ready to I'll cut some pieces and glue this thing together we'll be back with more from the shop